Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Dong Soo Kim, an assistant professor of marketing at The Ohio State University. And I'm the instructor of this course, BUSML 7247 Analytics for Macro Marketing Data. This is the video for Lecture 1, Marketing Research and Decision Making. In this course, some lectures require you to read articles before watching the video. Or reading materials are available in our course path. Please see the course syllabus for how to access our course path. This is the first lecture, so there is nothing to do before watching this video. In this lecture, I'm going to briefly review what is marketing research and how marketing research supports a firm's decision-making process through ROI evaluation. The gold standard for ROI evaluation is experimentation, so I'm going to briefly introduce experimentation. However, conducting experiments is not always feasible. So I'm going to briefly talk about what to do if experiments are not feasible, and that's the goal of this course. Okay, are you ready? Then let's get started. Business is a sequence of decision making. A firm faces to decide what to make, to whom to sell it, and how to sell it. For example, a firm needs to decide product features and price to be offered, advertising and communication channels for interactions with customers, logistics, events to promote sales, and procedure of dealing with dissatisfied customers. In that sense, marketing research can be viewed as the systematic process of using formal research and constant data gathering to improve the marketing function within an organization. This definition, suggested by Feinberg, Kinney, and Taylor 2012, clearly states what is the goal of marketing research and how to conduct marketing research. In the definition, the goal of marketing research is to improve the marketing function. Here, the marketing function means a decision-making faced by marketing managers. The managers cannot handle all of the decision-making problems by themselves. They sometimes seek evidence that can justify their decision-making through marketing research. Decades ago, research had been based on decision-makers' knowledge, experience, and intuition. But nowadays, with advances in computational technology, we can access lots of data about what's actually going on under various environments and situations. By analyzing data, marketing research provides empirical evidence that more clearly suggests which action to go for. Here is an example. A-B testing for website design. Suppose that there is an online store that wants to place a modern website design for each old one the marketing manager of the store hired the design company and the company proposed two designs, version A and version B. The online store definitely wants to sell more, so the manager wants to know which version of new website will lead to higher rate of conversion to purchase. To do so, the manager ran a simple experiment online. She built a website with each of the versions and made some of the store visitors enter the new site instead of the old one. Those sample visitors were randomly assigned to one of the versions and the manager tracked conversions to purchase in each version for several weeks. During the weeks, she found that the conversion rate in version A is about 20%, whereas the rate in version B is about 25%. With this empirical evidence, the manager concluded version B would be better than A and decided version B as the store's new website. In detail, a decision is generally made through the following steps. First, managers recognize what is a problem to solve or an opportunity to take. In the A-B test example, the online store had a need for replacement of website. Second, managers clarify what to decide. In the A-B test example, the manager wanted to go for the design that yields the highest conversion rate. Third, managers identify which actions are available. In the example, the manager had two versions from a design company. Fourth, managers evaluate each of the possible options. In the example, the manager conducts an experiment with the versions to evaluate the options. Then. Managers select one of the actions to do based on the evaluation. 
In the example, the manager finally decided version B is the new website because it yields higher conversion rate. The final step is follow-up step, which is to actually implement the action decided and monitor results from the action. Marketing research, of course, can support all these steps of this making to recognize a problem or opportunity, clarify the decision, and identify available actions. Managers may conduct a preliminary study. To select an action and actually implement the action, managers may do extra analysis for details of the action. But mostly, the main role of marketing research is for the evaluation step as in the A-B test example. To evaluate alternatives, we need to set criteria. Most firms and organizations pursue profits, so return on investment, in short, ROI, has been widely used as a concept of evaluation. In this concept, each of available actions is viewed as a separate investment an ROI of an action is technically defined as the ratio of net profit from the action and cost of the action. More generally, we can say that ROI of an action is a money matching measure of what would happen if doing the action. In the A-B test example, the manager observed the conversion rate in her experiment because all other things being equal, the conversion rate is the measure sufficient to gauge what would happen to the store's profit. In marketing, demand level or sales level is the main determinant of the profit, so gauging what would happen is usually involved in demand and sales prediction. With advances in computational technology, the focus is now moving from marketing manager's intuition to data-driven prediction. So far, we've reviewed the goal of marketing research, which is to provide empirical evidence that support this making. Then, how to provide the empirical evidence? By using formal research and consistent data gathering. There are various research questions in various environments and situations. For each question, smart mathematicians, statisticians, computer scientists, economists, and marketing researchers have developed research methods to address the question. But in most cases, the gold standard is experimentation like the A-B test example. Analysis through an experiment in marketing is made up of evaluations of ROI or determinants of ROI such as the conversion rate in the A-B test example. The key to running an experiment is to set up control group. Always, there is a certain level of demand and sales regardless of manager's choice of action, and this baseline demand or sales must be separated out for exact valuation of an action. So. In a usual experiment, there are two groups, a treatment group and a control group. And only one thing differs between the groups, whether the action the manager wants to evaluate is implemented or not. Prediction from the control group where the action is not implemented captures the baseline, and the prediction from the treatment group where the action is implemented captures the baseline plus additional demand or sales caused by action. So, comparing the prediction from the treatment group to that from the control group, we can exactly measure the causal effect of the action on ROI. However, conducting experiments is not always feasible. To obtain reasonable predictions, a sufficient number of sample customers are required, especially for the control group, which usually incurs lots of costs of money and time. If that's the case, researchers rely on alternative sources of data where they can draw the predictions with proper research methods. These methods include quasi-experiments, model-based analysis, and etc. In this course, you will learn what kind of data you can use and how to use the data for marking predictions to evaluate ROI. That's all I have in this lecture and we have assignments. Please read this article about a real experiment in practice for online advertising and do the exercise assignment where you will be asked to replicate the analysis in the article with real data. Through the assignment, you will learn more about the details of experimentation. 
Then see you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.